Um, had friends come over and we had to sight in some of the guns um, and crossbows and stuff like that. So my buddy brought some uh, targets and that over. And we came back to the blind here and we were just shooting pretty much all day, which was just awesome. Uh, Rochelle got to use crossbow for her very first time and she absolutely loves it. So I think that's going to be something in the market for us in the new year. Um, she thought it was just a blast. She really likes the crossbow. So I can't use uh, a compound bow or anything like that because my elbow... My, every time I try to do the drawback on it, my elbow feels like it's going to just pop out of place and it, it hurts. It's pretty painful. So crossbow is going to be something that I would be able to hunt with. And now she really likes it. So I think it's going to be a perfect combination for us. Um, then we got Dad's 22 all sighted in. So now we can do some prairie chicken hunting and, uh, you know, help defend the chickens or whatever we need. If there's any mink or weasels or anything like that again this year we'll be able to take that out no problem uh and our friend vicky got to shoot her crossbow a few times it, she's new to all of it so it took her a little bit but she did pretty good and then uh she sat and used the 22 and she absolutely loved that so pretty excited to see her starting to step up a little bit and she's definitely out of her comfort zone but she did really well so it was nice to see that and then um being able to sit back here and, and to see the wildlife and how different it is when there's snow because now they're searching for everything it's i've seen squirrels flipping their heads up in the snow and the snow's coming up and same with the birds so it's pretty cool so yeah i mean i i didn't really get any footage of us um yesterday All I heard is a pop. Okay, I'm gonna go see where I hit it. Didn't you say red is dead? No, red is hot. Red is hot. Oh. I need safety glasses. Fuck. What happened there? The wall of a shell comes out. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, we had so much fun, and uh, last night before we called it quits back here, we did a little bit of a prairie chicken hunt, and they were nowhere to be found. We couldn't see them, but after shooting for a few hours, we probably just scared them off anyway, so. Um, <clears throat> a couple of really nice bucks coming to the, the bait pile, um, but they're coming at night so far, but he's sticking around. He's been here for two, three nights now, and... Uh, I think more we get snow and the colder it gets and closer to the rut, he'll he'll be coming out during the day. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the buck you'll see first uh, is his nick. I've nicknamed him Junior. Um, there's two bucks that look almost identical. The only thing that's different is the one brow tie. The, uh, on Junior's, it's broken. And on Senior, his, his are straight up. They're perfect. So... I got those two named ready to go for Shell and I, and there's a lot of other really nice bucks starting to show up a little bit, so I'm just going to keep an eye on them and be able to distinguish which one's which, and uh, hopefully we get Dad in it for a good buck too, so super excited, can't wait. Um, but either than that, Judy came down for a visit this weekend, Raker had his very first birthday party, he had absolute fun. 
And then uh, Sadie, Judy, and Rochelle went to the movies Saturday night for the girls' night. First time all three of them have done something like that. Um, but I, apparently Sadie took off and all her friends were there in the movie theater. So she sat with all her friends and and uh, left mom and sister behind. So it was, it was kind of comical for, for me to hear that. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, Sadie is definitely the social butterfly here. So if you've gotten any snow, wherever you live, put it in the comments where you live and if you've gotten snow. And uh, apparently our, our weather is supposed to change. We're supposed to get more snow tonight and overnight. They're calling for two, three centimeters of snow. Who knows what we're going to wake up to tomorrow. So it's, it's supposed to get a lot colder. By the end of the week, we're supposed to be down into the minus five to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So it's going to be chilly. Definitely for sure, but uh, it's that time of year. I, I love it when the, the beginning of winter. I like it because it's a complete difference. It makes everything look nice and clean again, and I enjoy it. But after after New Year's, the snow can bugger off all at once. So I don't care after that. But I need to do a big shout out to uh, apparently my number one fan, Jimmy. Thanks for watching the videos, buddy. I appreciate it. And uh, make sure all you like subscribe share my videos on social media sitting here watching the deer and enjoying my morning cup of joe hope everybody's having a good morning i gotta buck that uh continuously comes around here a lot he is uh he scoped himself out a lot. He's been here <clears throat> every day now for a week. And he keeps coming to the, the bait while they feed. And then it leaves. A couple hours later, comes back. And it's nonstop all day. And he's been that, that way for over a week. So he's a pretty big dude. I haven't seen any other bucks that I could tell. I'm going to go and put all my photos on my uh, big screen TV. And go through all the photos and see if any differences and see what I see if there is any differences if there is that means there's multiple if it's just the same buck I believe it's the same buck that keeps coming over and over and over again but uh, as we get closer to having snow on the ground uh, like we did the other morning we need we need a couple inches once we have a couple inches of snow, all the deer will be coming here. Um, because there is still stuff for them to eat. They don't need to be here. But once there is no more food for them to eat, they will all be here. So that's what I'm looking forward to. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I'm just sitting here just watching the deer. And yesterday was pretty cool watching the, uh, the does and the kids fight. It was very unique to watch that. It was it was pretty cool. Um, I think we're pretty much re reaching the peak or uh, pre pre rut where they're starting to get temperamental and uh, territorial and whatnot. They're gonna start fighting for food and start fighting for everything they got. So it's neat to watch how nature works. I'm hoping today I'm just gonna sit back here for a little bit maybe give it about an hour and I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can find any prairie chickens I like to get a couple of them I had sight on a few of them yesterday but they were so small and they're so quick underneath the brush I couldn't take a shot off at any of them because I just I'd waste bullets but uh, that was fun yesterday today Today's pretty cold. It's minus 10 degrees Celsius here. It doesn't really feel like it, but it's, it's in the minuses for sure. To me, it feels like, like minus five, but it could very well could be. Yeah, so yesterday my buddy was sending me pictures of the surprise that I got coming up for the blind. I'm super excited. I can't wait. Um, he said we should be able to just got alerted to something. I need to hear 
um, we'll work on that surprise on Friday, I hope, so we'll uh, see what happens and hopefully this weekend I'll have a surprise for you guys to watch. As you're watching this dear ear, she has uh, been alerted. There is something off to my left. So now the other deer is also alerted. Can't see. Oh, there is a deer. Another fawn. I'll move the camera so you can see. Off to my left. And this is why I just had to put a window in the door. Because then I can see on the side. And that's paint off. It looks like another fawn. Oh, there's Mama. Mama and another fawn. It's hard to see because I have not got these windows cleaned. But uh, I'll keep the camera rolling. wasn't here I wouldn't have seen all that that was kind of interesting my mama came in with her baby and the baby scared off the other babies now here comes mama I don't know if she's kind of come over and say something to the other mama and tell her fun to chill out <laughs> I think it's funny I'll just watch and see what happens ears are down Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. I've never freaking seen that before. That was a fight and a half. Wow. I guess that mama was pissed off that the other kid came in and kicked the other kid's asses. That was funny. Oh my. This is why I come back here. This is just amazing. This is nature. Wow. I'm so glad I was able to come back here and get this and show you guys. This is amazing. Like, holy crap. Like, who would have ever thought I'd seen the all out doe fight? That was freaking cool.
the cross trees and do how I just hate you. Please turn those headlights around. supposed to go I poison myself again something in the orange tells me you're never coming home if you leave today I'll just stare out the way the orange touches all things around the grass trees and do how I just hate you please turn those headlights around Please turn those headlights around